And guys, here this is a fire department car. It's Mercedes Benz um, L408. So this here is the four tonner with 80 horsepower. So that's what the 408 is standing for. Ziegler is uh, usually doing these uh, bodies for the uh, fire fire department cars. And very funny here. So here there stands Stau Anfang. So this is even an LF8 TS, guys. Stau Anfang means uh, the beginning of the of the traffic jam. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to interrupt it because there were two people standing around looking like tourists. Uh, one guy had the elbow inside of the truck, I mean from the outside. Uh, he was standing out the outside and talking on the phone with someone else. Uh, yeah, very funny. So guys, but now I can also show you a little bit of the inside of this fire truck. So this is the people are usually sitting and this is the dashboard of this wonderful 408 this is also called the Düsseldorfer transporter because it because it was uh, initially built in Düsseldorf and guys here's something I was just talking with you about the M3 and here we're having an M3 so the M3 has these uh, wider fenders at the wheel arches and so on and actually the entire fender is wider not only the wheel arch and it has this well this weird looking um, bootlet and as you can see it has the old tail lights so the M3 is always having these tail lights and guys here's something else also something wonderful this here is a Ford Escort 1300 Sport. It's a Mark II. Ira? Yeah. Wie alt ist der? 78. Just heard this one is from 1978, guys. Beautiful. Very schön. Sieht man sehr selten nur noch. Ja, leider. Ja, ja, ja. Aber so ist viel mit den Autos aus, die so viel, früher so ganz äh, populär waren. Ne? Ja, ja, von diesen sind immer viel übrig. Ja, ja, das stimmt so. Die Butter, Butter und Brot Autos sind immer so schön. Genau. Ne? Aber so geht es mal mit meinem Audi, bin ich auch meistens der Einzige. Ja, ja, bei uns auch. Also mein Kumpel, der ja, hat ja. auch so einen. Aber wenn wir irgendwo auf dem mhm. Online-Treffen fahren, wir sind immer die Einzigen. Ja, <lacht> das glaube ich. Ja. Hat auch was, wenigstens zur Party und fahre nicht hochhalten. Ne? Das stimmt, ja. <lacht> So guys, and these rims, by the way, aren't the RS wheels, these are the Mini Light, very popular in uh, Great Britain, also used for the Mini Cooper, but of course a little bit smaller, but really a beautiful car guys. So guys, and here we are having a, this is an SEC, so the S-Class Coupe of the 126 series, frameless windows, so you can also open the rear passenger side window. Also really a beautiful car, I'm totally loving this series. Not sure what it is. I mean the uh, type number or model number or whatever. So there's nothing on the uh, rear end, unfortunately. But really, what a beauty! And talking about beauty, here's something. This here, guys, is the Isabella Coupe. And we can also take a little look to the inside. It's also really a beautiful car, guys. So, Borgward, Isabella, guys. Borgward hat ziemlich viel. Farbe wünsche ich 
Borgward, by the way, has been the second largest uh, car manufacturer in Germany, but well, they needed some money and they, the government decided to not giving them any money and so the second largest brand was going to die. I'm seeing that the, uh, actually I'm, I'm thinking that the front is looking kind of like uh, from the design style, I guess for this one here, for the 190 SL. And here guys, this is a 280 S or maybe an SE, I will find out. And here, okay, we are knowing these, these are so popular here. This is the R129. Oh, and before I have to forget it, uh, I also need to film, of course, the SL Roadster of my subscriber, Adex. Uh, so, and here, ah, it's in 280 SE, guys. Beautiful S-Class. I don't know where the, uh, the security guys are, because I usually the guides about parking here. Because usually you do not park in front of the uh, stairs here. Anyway, guys, here this is a is an Opel Astra F Cabriolet. And I must be honest that I really like the the Astra F. It's also really a wonderful design in my opinion. And as you can see, someone is already taking a photo of Siggy. <laughs> Uh, someone stole the Opel badge I've seen here. So guys, now running around here. So R129. This here is a 635 CSI. You see the CLK Cabriolet. And by the way, guys, we get today, this morning, these uh, sunrises for free. I've also got one. So here, this is of course not. A brand, uh, this is not a, an old car, it's a, it's a brand new smart number one premium. Not sure if any electric vehicle will ever make it into the class of vintage cars, which is starting in Germany at the age of 30 plus years. But here at the Classics and Coffee, you can also come with cars. So these are, by the way, CLs. Uh, with at least 20 years maybe these are younger if so then they were just allowed here because of uh, an exception for a club oh just seeing the opal is moving and what is this this is an uh, e-class uh, cabriolet and this was the last time when we had separated um, headlamps on this generation. But I'm thinking that uh, the Cabriolet was still based on, okay, a Playboy, uh, was still based on the uh, C-Class. But I'm not 100% certain about this one here. But here about the CLK, I know it for sure. This was still based on the on the C-Class, but the one with the uh, rectangular headlamps. So this one was just only. Oh, so it's a really beautiful car. I absolutely love these uh, CLKs. There's a lot I'm loving. I know. And here is once again, gang, the Opel Astra. And here, guys, this is the SL of Alex. He's also a subscriber of my channel. He already said hello, Sven, when I was just still on my car at the beginning. And he told me that today is here with the SL. Last time I've seen him here was with his uh, blue metallic SLK. 
very cool, um, what is it called, MAG wheels. This is an SL600 from 1993, guys. 394 horsepower. And look at this guy, so beautiful. And only 65,000 kilometers. That's a great find. That's a great find. It's like almost new. Not easy to film from here. I will also film it from down below. So he got this car in 2019. It was back then it, it cost uh, 27,000 euros. So these are also um, increasing in value. Here, guys, this is an SL500. This here is the uh, successor, and I'm guessing that uh, this kind of model is also coming here more often very soon because they are now the ones that are turning 20 I'm thinking and here an SL320 and here a lovely SLK guys what I'm loving about these SLKs is uh, the interior here the uh, white uh, background on the speedometer for example and what I'm also loving is this uh, red stuff okay here it's already worn but um, yeah, there are such kind of, what is it called? Well, there's something you can fix it actually pretty easy, I've seen. At least I've seen it in a video. Sometimes it's looking easy when an expert is doing it. <laughs> but when you're trying it by yourself, then yeah, sometimes it's not this easy. But anyway, this is also a wonderful, small SLK, a small roadster. And they were also very popular back then in the 90s when it came out. And here's another R129. 100, this is the SL, what was it? I've already forgotten it, but yeah. You will see it soon. In the description, of course. So guys, here's another R129 500 SL. It's a pre-facelift, as you can tell by the amber uh, indicator lights. What a beautiful color. And here, this is an S210 uh, E-Class station wagon. Oh, very cool. There's even a Ford Probe. So, I will have to film here as well. But well, now we are still here. Uh, in my opinion, it's not the most beautiful uh, T-model from Mercedes-Benz, but uh, well, this one has really a nice, nice big boot. And here, guys, this is the SL500 SL. Beautiful. Oh, and I'm just seeing that it's easier to film the rear ends from this position. So here's the SL, the SL, the SL from Alex. And here, of course, the Astra, the CLK Cabriolet, E-Class Cabriolet, and here are the CLs. These are the more modern ones, while well, here is the other one, this is the older CL. Or maybe it's even called uh, S-Class Coupe or SEC, because these ones these old ones had uh, three different uh, names. 